Welcome back to Koinaz, your ultimate destination for all things numismatic. Today we are diving into an exciting segment where we will explore several Lincoln signs from the Koinaz Penny Collection. We will be showcasing a variety of issues spanning from the iconic 60s to the slick modern shield sand. Together we will find out just how valuable they can be when preserved in higher mint conditions. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay updated on our latest videos and make sure to watch till the end. Let's get started on this numismatic journey and see what treasures we can discover together. Let's kick things off with this 1999 Lincoln scent. Uh, this coin is in about uncirculated condition, meaning it hasn't spent much time in circulation. With no mint mark, we know it was issued by the Philadelphia Mint. While not particularly rare, this coin can still catch a collector's eye, especially if it shows minimal wear and retains some of its original mint luster. However, carbon spots can detract from its overall appeal and value. In higher grades, especially mint state with full red luster, 1999p Lincoln cents can command higher prices, potentially ranging from several dollars to tens of dollars depending on market demand and the coin's specific condition. Certified examples in top grades might achieve a premium, especially if they are free from spots or imperfections. The most sought after grade is MS69 with only one specimen graded that high by PCGS. This exceptional coin sold for an impressive $16,313.50 in 2023 at Great Collections Auction. So keep an eye out for high grade beauties. The 1978 Pilinklin scent had a whopping mintage of over 5.5 billion, making it a common coin. In circulated condition, particularly around AU, meaning about uncirculated, its value is typically just above face value. However, in higher grades, such as MS65 or above, these coins can fetch a few dollars with a top quality specimens, potentially reaching higher premiums. Collectors should seek examples with strong strikes, full original luster, and minimal contact marks. Key factors that can increase the coin's value include its overall eye appeal and the presence of any errors or varieties, such as die clashes or double dies. Proper authentication and grading by a reputable service can help ascertain its true worth. According to PCGS, examples in MS65 are abundant in uncirculated rolls and available at small premium over face value. In MS66 conditions, they become a bit more challenging to find but are still easily available. However, in MS67 conditions, they are very hard to find and command a substantial premium. A recent sale at Great Collections Auction saw an MS67 Red Superb Gem sell for $217.41 on January 7th, 2024. So if you have come across high-grade 1978p Lincoln scent, you might just have a valuable gem on your hands. The 1985p Lincoln scent is very easy to find in circulation, only in MS66 condition or higher, it is scarce. In MS67 condition, it's a little more difficult to find, but with enough role searching, an example can easily be found. In MS68 conditions, they are very difficult to find and it is probably easier to buy an example than try and find one. The 1985p Lincoln Sun had a mintage of over 5.6 billion, making it unique, making it quite common. In circulated condition, its value is generally limited to its face value. However, in higher grades like MS65 or above, it can sell for a few dollars. Collectors should look for coins with strong strikes, minimal wear, and original red luster. Any errors or varieties such as double dies or die cracks can enhance the coin's value. Despite its commonality, well preserved examples with minimal contact marks and high eye appeal are more desirable. Authentication and grading by a reputable service can help confirm its condition and potential value. One super valuable specimen in mint state 69 red was sold for over $11,000 at Great Collections Auction. The 1972p Lincoln Sand is very common, up to MS65 condition and can still be found in circulation. 
Coins grading MS66 or higher can still be found in rolls or min sets. Examples in MS67 are scarce. There are very numerous double die varieties created this year for the 1972 Lincoln cent. Only one of them is considered to be the major variety. All others are considered to be minor varieties, even though some are dramatic. This circulated brown specimen is worth just little more than its face value, but in high mint condition with fully red luster. They gain strong premiums, for example, these MS67 Plus red graded specimen fetched over $2700 at heritage auctions. The 2000 D Lincoln Sand had a mintage of over 8 billion, making it extremely common. In about uncirculated condition, it holds minimal numismatic value, generally close to its face value. However, in higher uncirculated grades like MS65 or above, the coin can be worth a few dollars. Collectors should seek examples with strong strikes, full red luster, and minimal distractions like contact marks. Additionally, any notable errors or varieties such as wide AM or close AM variations in the reverse design can increase the coin's value. Authenticating and grading the coins through reputable service can provide a more accurate assessment of its condition and worth. The 1965 Lincoln set in circulated brown and slightly tarnished condition. The 1965 Lincoln cent had a mintage of over 1.5 billion, making it a very common coin. In circulated condition, its value is generally limited to its face value. However, coins in higher uncirculated grades such as MS65 or above can sell for a few dollars. Collectors should look for examples with minimal wear, strong strikes, and original red luster. Notable errors or varieties like double dies or die cracks can increase the coin's value. Although the 1965 cent is common, finding well-preserved examples with high eye appeal can be more desirable. Having the coin authenticated and graded by a reputable service can provide a more precise evaluation of its condition and potential worth. One valuable specimen in Minsk 67 grade was sold for $324. And this is 2011D Shield Sand, in about uncirculated condition, with sharply struck motifs and with pale golden rose luster. Main distraction is his large slanting contact mark on the cheek of the Lincoln. A 2011D Shield Lincoln Sand, in about uncirculated condition, typically means it will show some slight wear. On the highest points of the design, such as Lincoln's cheekbone or tops of the shield elements, it may still retain some original luster, but the wear will prevent it from achieving a mean state grade. Depending on the specific amount of the wear and overall appearance, it could be graded as AU50 to AU58 by a professional coin grading service like PCGS or NGC. One valuable super gem specimen in mean state 68 grade was sold for. $545.62 at Great Collections Auction. So that wraps up our today's episode of exploring Lincoln sets from Coinas. If you own any of these coins, let us know in the comment section below and share its approximate condition. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more numismatic content. Stay tuned for more insights and discoveries in the world of coins. Thank you for watching. And until the next time.